Yo, what up, team? It's Tangaroa. Welcome back to Farm for Life. Obviously, the first uh, first video that we've done in the office, and already it sucks because we're inside, not outside. Didn't become a farmer to be inside, but hey, you know, every now and then you got to do some paperwork, got to pay the bills, got to make sure minder records are all up to date, got to tick off the old Nate, and uh, yeah, got to be compliant. So. This video is about how I entered the dairy industry. So, firstly guys, way back in the day, way back 376,000 years ago, I was 14. I was 15 and then I turned 16. But anyway, where I'm going with this is, I didn't know what I wanted to do when I left school. Uh, but what I did know is that I wanted to be successful. So, I like had a, quite a few mates around me. Um, their parents own businesses and they seemed to like be having really good fun um, not only running their own businesses but they were they had you know nice cars and they ate bloody good food far I remember first getting introduced to cheese and grapes and salami Ooh, I was like far out what's this concoction I want to be able to afford this stuff because we used to go honestly I used to get like tomato sandwiches at lunchtime do you know what happens to tomato that goes inside a sandwich and then sits in your lunchbox until lunchtime? That shit turned soggy, man, and it's yuck. Like, actual yuck. That was my lunches, and like, when I used to get it, like, you know how, like, when you, you know, you get something good, you can trade it? Man, I'll pull out my sandwiches, and I'll be like, Gemma, I'll swap you, swap you my sandwiches for those bag of chips, and I'll pull my sandwich out like this, and it would literally go, Bleh. Like, it was, like, embarrassing, and I didn't want to eat it. I always brought them back home again. Then I got a growling for not eating my lunch, so I started like chucking them out. But um, yeah, I know these kids obviously, you know, starving at the moment, not getting lunch and that, but I didn't want that. I wanted to be like, I wanted to have a mean lunch and I wanted to have a nice car and I wanted to have a nice house and you know I wanted to be successful. But I was at here where I was at school and I was like was so terrible at English, like I was literally very shit at English. I'm still very shit at English. Can't spell, I still spell tractor with a K. I don't know why I just started adding K's into tractor. Probably could tra 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 I don't know. I don't know why I do it. Um, yeah, so I'm really shit at English. Um, I've never read a book, a full book in my whole life. But um, I was like, you know, I didn't. I didn't think that as think of that as being a, a negative for me. You know, trying to be successful. I was like, right. I'm obviously not going to be an English teacher. So. Um, yeah, I started thinking about what I was going to do and what I enjoyed and what I liked because I didn't want to be, you know, rich or successful straight away. Um, I just wanted to be there at the end. I could see this vision at the end um, of the rainbow. So I didn't mind climbing the rainbow to get there as long as I got there. So I went and see my careers advisor. I was about 15 or 16. I was like, his name was Mr. Mays. Went to Tauranga Boys College. He was the man too. And um, I went into him and I was in like the first 15 and then I was like, it's going, sir. Um, I don't know what I want to do when I leave school. I, I'm just not really enjoying school at the moment. Um, I'm just here to play rugby. And he was like, "Oh, you know, what? Like, what do you want to do, man?" And I was like, "Oh, I don't know. I want to be successful." And he was like, "Oh, right over there, uh, Tangaroa. What do you enjoy, mate? Like, what do you what do you want to be? What do you enjoy?" And I was like, "There's actually a board behind you. <laughs> There's a board behind you guys. So I'm going to try and read it." around in a circle without you guys knowing but I've already told you so I'm just going to go for it so he was like what do you want to do and I was like well I bloody love building like I love building things that's real cool um I love welding I love, like I had a car when I was like 14 15 that I used to drive it was, it was like a poor hutter airs like hoary airs car no warrant no rego the seat used to fall through to the ground when you'd sit on it with your mate um so I'll be driving along and <laughs> down the road to go and uh, help hose out Anyway, so like working on cars and like we built a go kart, so I loved engineering, that was mean. Um, and then obviously I went to school to play rugby, but I also um, went to school. I love going to our cooking classes because obviously you could eat the mean as food or swap it for other things. Um, so I, used to, I wouldn't have minded being a chef. Um, another thing, um, I liked being um, like dealing with auto electric, auto electrics. Uh, my mates used to. Um, have their cars and they used to buy these head units and subs and they used to get me to put them in and I used to like be like hey, 100 bucks bro they'd be like sweet ass so I'd do that and I really enjoyed that um, also liked studying like although I didn't read many books um, I love studying 
I um, loved doing my homework. Um, I was pretty good at graphics. Me and, me and a couple of the boys were pretty good at graphics and used to stay up to like two o'clock at night making sure that all our all our bloody arrows were like three to one ratios and all that sort of thing. Used to love fencing. Um, brought up on a farm that was like pretty hoary, um, like really run down. Our parents didn't really have much money to go and like buy new things so we used to have to like, you know, try and improvise, try and fit like a three inch hose onto a half inch hose and like cut it and add tape and all the rest of it. So we used to, I used to really like um, fencing and yeah, I suppose improvising with things that, I, that, that we had on farm. Um, used to like driving machinery. So I used to really like driving uh, the bobcats and the tractors and um, obviously cars. I used to love driving everything because I thought I was a man until I crashed. So you yeah, really used to like machinery operating. Um, I like organising, I had a couple, like the, the group of friends that I was hanging out with, they were bloody useless men, like actually, their mum used to like, I think their parents used to do everything for them, so it come, to, come up to New Year's, I remember we were like 15 or 16, I was like, well what are we going to do boys, and they were like, oh, I don't know, what should we do, and I was like, oh, should we go to Coromandel, it's like a four hour drive from Tauranga, three hour drive, and then they are like, yeah, 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 but man, they couldn't organise bloody toilet roll to wipe their own ass, honestly. So I'd have to organise all that shit, I'd have to organise the trip, figure out how much it was going to cost, book everything, and then I'd like obviously divide it all up into six people or however many people were coming, um, and then make sure that everyone paid. So I really used to like organising and I suppose monitoring, make sure everyone paid, doing sort of budgets and that sort of stuff, done that all on accident. Um, so yeah, counting and maths was quite quite my forte. Um, we used to do a bit of pig hunting as well, so we used to get like dogs, we used to get ripped necks and stuff. Um, we used to have to take a stapler up the bush with us and staple up their, their, um, their tears. And we used to have to take our dogs to the vets and I used to really like watching the vets like cut the, cut the staples out and uh, you know close everything up and that was quite intriguing for me. So wouldn't have minded being a vet. Um, yeah, I like, like chopping pigs up and sheep up and cows up as well. Um, so yeah, we used to process our own meat. On, on the little lifestyle farm that me and my uh, my uncle used to live on, um, so used to wouldn't have mind being a butcher. Um, I was a real perfectionist. Like I don't know, I used to wake up every morning and try and do my hair every day. Nah, I didn't used to do that, or did I? But um, I used to like I used to be real clean and like everything done properly. Um, I wanted to be in an industry that was like had plenty of progression so I didn't want to be on an industry where I'd be doing the same thing every day seven days a week 52 weeks of the year for the rest of my bloody life like that's what my parents did um, and it just seemed so mundane boring ass job you know there was no no succession plan for them and, uh, yeah they, they used to live week by week and that wasn't me I used to get bored very bored um, just listening to their work stories and they were all shit um, so I was like man I'm gonna do something that's like fun and I don't know what I'm going to do the next day, and you know, I want to do something that's exciting. Um, and then I was like, I like animals, like really like cows, like riding horses, um, like having dogs, obviously pig dogs, um, like training dogs as well, um, like love being outside. When I was at, like right from five, six years old, um, I got, I wasn't allowed inside for some reason. I don't know. My auntie and uncle they used to like just boot me outside. Be like, get outside, what are you doing inside? I'd invite mates around, we'd be pissing down outside. I'd invite my mates around, we'd be like inside, like watching, I don't know, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, and they'd be like, they'd walk, come in, we'd like hear them driving up the driveway. Me and my mates would be like knees deep in condensed milk and bloody uh, juice sachet, like on our hands. We'd have to like close it all up, pretend like we hadn't been drinking it and eating it, and I'd run outside because auntie and uncle would come home and kick our asses because we were inside, and it was really weird looking back at it now. I don't know why they used to kick us out. It used to be pretty wretched actually. We'd be out standing outside in the rain. I don't know. I don't know what they felt doing that, but um, anyway, I ended up liking being outside and hating being inside. So that's what happens, I suppose. Um, I was really competitive. Me and my bro Blair um, and Patrick, we used to like. We used to have a water hole and uh, we used to walk home, it used to be bloody half dark, just on dark and uh, we'd be walking home, I don't know, it'd be like two kilometres down the road, we're only like, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, seven to twelve, I don't know, seven, anyway, we'll go with seven. Um, we used to be like walking down the road and be like, see that sign? First hit that sign, there'd be like a school bus sign, way down, like 20 metres away. 
No, we'll make it 50, make the story sound a bit better. So we'll be there like, first to, first to hit it. Yeah bro, sweet. So we'd stand there and try and hit this sign for like 20 minutes, half an hour. So no one would hit the sign after like 30 minutes, so we'd be like, oh, we'll move a metre forward, eh? move a metre forward. Next minute, hour was gone. And anyway, there was like five or six signs that we used to do this to, and it was just so stupid, but like really made us really competitive. We were very competitive at everything we did, cross country, high jump, bloody athletics, everything. Um, so I'm very competitive, so I like winning, hate losing. Um, and because I used to live with my uncle and my auntie, uh, my uncle, I used to be like his little bitch. He, he's, so I'm, he's like 40, 40 something years older than me. Uh, 41 years older than me, so he was like old as bitty. Um, used to tell me what to do all the time. He'd be like, hey, go grab this, go grab that. Oh, whatever then, have to go grab it or go do it. And um, so I was like, man, I want to be the captain. I'm the captain. But then he came over and he was like, what'd you say to me? What'd you say? And then I was like, oh, nah, nothing. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Walk away, angry. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just, I suppose I used to, Always want to be the captain. I wanted to try and be the boss because he was like, you know, the captain my whole life. So I wanted to try and be the boss. Um, I love plumbing. So I used to really love like, you know, joining hoses together and plumbing and watching water systems work and all the rest of it. Um, obviously love being happy. You guys are, if I was a sad ass, boring ass bastard, you guys wouldn't have liked Far For Life and you wouldn't be following all these videos. So like love being happy. I'm always happy. Wake up in the morning. Tired but happy, I suppose. Go to bed, tired but happy, you know, like gotta be happy, um, gotta be enjoying everything that you do. And yeah, so I said all that, blah, on like that to uh, Mr. Mays, and then anyway, he, he wakes up, I'm like, oh, he's soon. He's like, oh, what was that, mate? Let's start again. Yeah, so anyway, he's like, oh, so you wanna be a farmer? And I was like, yeah, is that what I wanna be? And he was like, yeah, mate, you wanna be a farmer. Right, right we'll uh, enroll you with primary ITO and uh, get you on the track. So, Anyway, I ended up going to this, this thing called, um, it was like an academy at Tauranga Boys College. And yeah, we pretty much had work placements uh, twice a week and it was awesome. So I stayed at school, got to play my rugby, got to study um, ag agriculture, um, got my chainsaws, safety, health and safety course, um, tractors, fencing, uh, what else did we get? A few other certificates anyway. So. Ended up leaving school, still hadn't read a book, I still haven't read a book to this day. Um, ended up leaving school, pretty qualified actually for a 17 year old, like had my restricted, um, had a car, had heaps of heaps of qualifications, didn't have my level 3 but had my level 2, um, yeah and I just started studying at primary ITO, so anyway, I'm going to shut up now because I've just bored you about for about 336 minutes, um, so the next video I'm going to do guys is going to be about what happened next, so we can call this video stage one. Um, we'll be coming up with stage two, I don't know when, I won't, put a, won't make a date because um, I probably won't meet it. But if you guys know anyone, any young kid that's at school or like a, somebody that's doing work that they hate, like they might, be, might have left school last year or something and they're a builder or a plumber, an electrician, they're just getting bored of that boring ass mundane job, not saying anything to you plumbers, electricians, you know, builders, all good, love your job, but farming's way better, <laughs> and it's way better money, nah, I don't even know if it's better money, I don't know what you're on, you might be the captain, so, all good, uh, but, anyway, if you guys know anyone that you might think might be interested in farming, especially you old guys out there that are watching this, obviously you're dairy farming and you love the industry, um, tag a young fella in this video, and get them to like our page so they can see the next one, and um, if you don't like it, um, I'll give you a hiding, nah, <laughs> That's me for Fun for Life, guys. That's me, Tangaroa.